Hey y'all, it's Taker Skeeb, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have yet another Fate Grand Order figure. This time, it's, and it's a mouthful, Mysterious Alter Ego Lambda Lancer. Uh, and for the rest of this video, we'll go f with Lambda for short, uh, just because the name is very, very long. And when this character isn't in this particular form, you might know her as Meltrilis uh, from the Fate Extra series. The first thing that stands out to me, and I'm sure it stands out to you, is her parka. It's modeled after a well, no, a leviathan. Might have thought I was gonna say something else, but no. This is supposed to be her leviathan form. This leviathan parka allows for Lambda to match perfectly with her little friend at her feet, um, complete with matching bows, which is absolutely adorable. Lambda's parka is incredibly detailed, complete with buttons and pockets, zippers, while also having the wrinkles as she's moving in this oversized parka that hides her hands and almost hides her body. Yeah, that's right. If you look at Lambda from certain angles, you can actually peek at her swimsuit, which leaves little to the imagination. You can see her swimsuit from the top of the parka and a little bit from the behind of the parka. I, I would say that this particular figure is incredibly cultured. All right, now let's get underneath this figure. The prosthetic legs that Lambda sports has a very good paint job. If you look up, the painters did a really good job at capturing that metallic look to her legs. And they're even kind of reminiscent of stockings. Really, really great job by the sculptors. And now let's talk about the face. Her face looks great. I, I like it. I think it's a very, very good face sculpt. The eye decals look nice. Um, the shape of her face looks correct. It looks like Melt. It does correct myself, it does look like Lambda. My only issue though, is that they sculpted her face in such a way where she's sticking her tongue out from the side of her mouth. However, the paint they use for her tongue is too close to her actual skin tone. So it's really hard to tell that she's even sticking her tongue out of her mouth. It's, it's strange. Um, they really should have went with a darker color for the tongue, but I don't feel like that ruins the figure for me. I, I still think it looks, I still think her face looks fantastic. Just a little hiccup there. And now her hair sculpt is huge. It, it takes up a lot of the figure. Um, and it's a lot of plastic. I'm, I'm kind of sure this is where her um, ridiculous price point kind of comes in. It's, it's a lot of hair, but it's, it is very well painted though. I, it, it just, it just takes up a lot of space. As you can see from it scattering across the base itself, it is definitely a space hog. Very similar to a to another figure, Summer BB. This 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 figure just has so much dang hair, uh, but it looks really, really good. And now, something really exciting is that she comes with additional props. And that additional prop is sunglasses. And so these sunglasses have a purple tint and are semi-translucent. So in, a, in the right lighting, you can actually still see, you know, parts of her face with the sunglasses on. 
Now, putting those sunglasses on is a different story. Uh, you kind of have to finagle it into um, around her ears, which are, you know, behind her hair. And she does indeed have a lot of hair. So you're going to spend a bit of time kind of figuring out uh, the right positioning for the sunglasses. Um, but with a lot enough, like, um, poking around, it, you'll eventually get it to stick. The addition of Lambda sunglasses really does complete this figure. And most importantly, it draws attention away from her subpar mouth sculpt. The, the glasses just do a very good job complementing the other colors in this figure. The purples and the blues. Uh, it just, it just works. It, it just works. And coming from me, this may be a very biased take because I just love figures that have sunglasses. Um, hence my growing collection of sunglasses wearing figures. Once I can get my hands on the Vash Stampede and Wolfwood figures by Kotobukiya, and those also do come with sunglasses, it's, it'll be over. It's, it's, we're in the end game now. Now surprisingly, or not so surprisingly, since Lambda does hail from the Sakura Face Alliance of the Fate Grand Order verse, she pairs really well with another figure that Alter sculpted, and that's Summer BB. Ugh. There we go. Now, Summer BB is probably one of my most regretful picks of 2023. I bought her a hot minute ago. I, I really did buy this figure. I bought this figure with a lot of excitement because I really liked BB's character back when I played Seraph in Fate Grand Order, and I really loved Melt as well. Uh, you know, whatever, Melt. Uh, so I really wanted to get a, a figure of Melt, and I wanted to get a figure of BB. I do really love Lambda here, but BB... I don't know. She she left me she left me kind of desiring a bit more. And I've been I haven't made a video on her cuz I couldn't I couldn't explain exactly what I didn't like about this figure, but I guess it just didn't feel as it didn't really feel as inspired honestly. I, I just kind of found it a little boring, um, but I just never had the heart to remove her from my collection, so here she is. However, now that I have Lambda, that buyer's remorse is starting to dissipate a bit, because I feel like their contrasting colors, the red, kind of like fiery, more active color colorway of BB complements the cooler tones in Lambda so well. Um, they they just work very well as a pair of figures. And that is very surprising to me because their scales are a little off too, with BB being a 1 8th and Lambda being a 1 7th, um, which comes to show that like it's all really perspective and who's actually sculpting the figure not really exactly what they tell you the scale will be, but it's it's really coming together here. I, I really do like what I see. And now that isn't my only regret about buying this figure. Now, I love Lambda. I think Lambda is a fantastic figure. I. I really do like this figure. This is probably one of my favorite fate figures I've gotten so far, and definitely a highlight of 2024. However, 
I bought her for way too much money. <laughs> like, I, in the excitement of wanting to pre-order her and really wanting a melt style figure and not wanting to miss out, the fear of missing out, beyond my better judgment, I, I, I've made this judgment before. A lot of other creators have also parroted what I'm saying is that you don't really want to pre-order Fate figures because Fate stonks are down right now. Um, waiting for them to enter the market and giving them a week or so to um, drop in price is usually the best course of action for these for this series simply because the prices are the pre-order prices are very inflated. But I really, really wanted her, so I pre-ordered her anyway. And I've never seen a drop-off as steep as with Lambda, because I think with shipping, I paid around $250 to $260 off of Ami Ami, and she was a single ship. So I couldn't even combine her with some of my other January pre-orders. So this was just kind of like a, a gut punch to the wallet. And not only that, not, and, not, and then it gets better. Like, n not even a week after her initial release, she started dropping in price. And one of the most recent price drops I've seen so far was her dropping almost all the way to by like a hundred dollars, like a hundred forty dollars for a a a grade pre, like a a grade an A grade pre owned figure. I can't even I can't even get the words out. I'm just so shook of, of like how quickly she binned, and yeah, that that really burned me. Uh, that really that really hurt. I I kind of was just like, man, I should have waited a little longer, but. I'm glad that I did it because the year there, you know, this might be a lot of copium, but at least I didn't pay the disgusting aftermarket prices for Meltralis's third ascension figure, her first scale figure that was kind of like, I believe it was sculpted by Good Smile Company. That one is probably more ridiculous at around $300 to $350. And, <laughs> and it's not even, and it wouldn't even be new. So $250 for Lambda, a new figure by Alter? I can kind of, I can kind of give myself a pass for that one. And I'm glad to take one for, a t for the team because now I get her early in my collection and y'all can see her in all of her glory. And if you do want to get her for yourself, you'll pay a lot less than I did. So I, I see this as a win-win for us. <laughs> uh, I mean, come on, y'all. This figure is absolutely amazing. So... If you can get it for a price that is much better than what I paid for originally, I'm happy for y'all. <sighs> if you are a Meltralis, aka Lambda, aka Melt fan, I do believe this figure is a must pick up. And as I said before, if you pick this up at this point, and even like as you watch this video, you'll probably be able to get it at such a much better price than I did. So it's she's definitely a figure to look into getting if you were interested in her at all. And with that, thank you very much for joining me on this video today. If you liked what you saw, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. See ya!